Today, I had one mission to create the worst 5M server ever. And well, what the f mission accomplished. So the first thing we need to do is actually create our 5M server. So that is what I'm going to go ahead and do right now. Of course, I grabbed myself a VPS to run our 5M server off so we're nice and safe and secure from my server hosting and 5M server package website, hdnetwork.one down in the description below. So let's get to work on creating the actual 5M server. Okay, so now we need to select the recipe type. Of course, we're not gonna select anything fancy like ESX or Cubicore. We're creating the worst 5M server. So what we're gonna do is select the most basic thing we can do, which is CFX default 5M. So let's go ahead and select that and let's get deploying it. Okay, so it's all deployed. You guys can see here, I've picked a pretty fitting name, Awful Server, and since it's an Awful Server, we're not gonna bother removing any of the default lines like CFX default 5M and recipe for the base resources, which is something that you would normally remove because it looks pretty rubbish. But we're not gonna do that this time because we are aiming to make the worst thing ever. So I think our next step is gonna be finding some pretty atrocious mods and probably making it absolute hell to even play on this server. So I'm gonna start hunting for some mods to add. Okay, so my first idea is to get ourselves a spawn selector, although this is actually a good spawn selector script at the minute, I'm gonna make it pretty awkward. So what I'm gonna do is if we look at the video here that the mod creator has provided, we're gonna get rid of every single one of these spawn points and we're gonna give you one spawn location and that's gonna be on the top of maybe like a building in the city because that's gonna be pretty stupid. Okay, so I've installed the spawn selector script here. I've put it into our 5M server files, you guys can see right here. And I've put it into our server.cfg. I'm not gonna bother with any organization. I'm not even gonna remove the master part at the end because literally who cares? We're gonna do this as awful as we can. So we'll file and save. I'm gonna load into the server now and I'm gonna mess around with the spawn script. I'm gonna try and get it so we can only spawn on top of the building. Okay, so loading into the 5M server here. I don't even think I'm gonna change the loading screen or maybe I'll change it for something weird, but I think this is pretty fitting already. It looks pretty rubbish. Okay, so this is what we're going to be changing. I'm going to get rid of all of these. So we just have one and it's just going to spawn us somewhere random. So I guess we'll spawn in the city for now. I'm going to see if I can get us on top of a building and then get the coordinates and set it so that is the only place we can spawn. Okay, so I've got the coordinates now. Um, if I go into this script, which I installed in between now, also didn't ensure it in my server.cfg because we don't need to. And who cares? But if we go inside of here, we go into the files, we should be able to grab our vector three coordinates of where we were and really easily just do this. And there you guys go. We should be able to now when we spawn in, only spawn, as it says, in the middle of nowhere. Okay, so we've spawned into the game and you guys can see here, we literally have one button in the middle of nowhere. So if we click this now, you should see it's going to take us to probably the weirdest place ever to spawn. Here you guys go, right to the top of the building beautiful this is just great and if we hit shift to spawn in we should just spawn right at the top there you guys go this is just perfect so now the only way to get off is just to do this and then when you die you get stuck in the repetitive loop of being stuck in the middle of nowhere so there's literally no way out of this okay so my next idea to make this the worst 5m server ever is to install an absolutely atrocious 5M loading screen because that will just put the icing on the cake as soon as you join the server and then straight away you join to be put on the top of a building. So what I'm going to do is it's a YouTube loading screen. So we should be able to link this to the most possibly the weirdest 5M YouTube loading screen that I can find. Okay, so I've added in a loading screen, which is pretty weird. I literally just search weird ass videos on YouTube and I picked literally one of the first ones that came up. And I've also edited some words here also in the config as well to match our server name. But you guys are going to have to wait and see what the load screen is until we load in to the 5M server. Okay, here we go. It's time to load it into the server. And once we load in, you guys can see we're instantly greeted to the weirdest thing I could find. It's just so random. Just, yeah, it's, it's pretty weird. I'll just let you, I'll let it speak for itself. Okay, so the next script, just to top it all off, is going to be this one right here. The 5M standalone tactical nuke script. I mean, can it can it get any worse than this? I, I don't even think it can, to be honest with you. But 
for some reason, if you look at the commands, we can do nuke to trigger a nuclear bomb to all clients. And this is just going to be absolutely chaos. And it says here we can set it up with ace group permissions. Only admins can do it, but I'm just going to ignore that. And what we're going to do is let every single person in the server to be able to nuke each other because that's just going to be chaos. And that is what we want. So what we're going to do is download it, install it and get it in the game. This is going to be this is going to be the final the final straw, I think. OK, so I have loaded in here and before we do the big and nuke and blow up the whole city, there's one thing I want to try, which is this command, which should cause a bit of chaos. OK, here it is. I'm guessing you guys probably know what this command is going to do, but here we go. <laughs> Three, two, one. OK. Yeah, that was that was pretty much what I was expecting. OK, yeah, so I think it's like to say I pretty much like break the whole server. I don't really know what's going on anymore. If you look into the future, like there is some reason some cars floating in the air. But I think there's only uh, there's only one thing left to do. Here we go. Three, two, one.